Marching band members like William, who became part of the 36th Ulster Division, automatically became stretcher bearers on the battlefield. By dawn on the 1st of July 1916, William was in the trenches of the Somme. What would the experience of, of one of these band members, what, what would their personal experience have been of the Battle of the Somme? Well, they would have been held back when the rest of the battalion went over the top that morning. No Man's Land was quite literally a hell because the number of casualties had become absolutely unbelievable. So they're just, they're cowering in those trenches, hearing all this mayhem going on above them and being told that there's nothing they can do about it, just to sit tight. That is quite literally it. They, they have to stay where they are until they're given the order to go forward and try to do something for the wounded. So would they be making decisions in no man's land as to whether someone was worth saving or not? They would certainly have had to make a decision as to whether somebody uh, was worth spending the time on bringing back. Many, many stretcher bearers in the course of the war lost their lives trying to rescue other men. There are tremendous acts of heroism carried out by stretcher bearers who, by the nature of their, their, their work, were not themselves armed. On that first day of the Battle of the Somme, more than 2,000 Ulstermen, Protestants and Catholics, were killed. Just to have lived through that, to have lived through that carnage, to have seen all these mates butchered, to presumably have to have picked some of them up in bits in no man's land. I mean, it's just, I guess if you live through that, you just never want to go back there. It's difficult to know if I, if I could have done it. I mean, if they'd known what they were going to, it's difficult to know how many of them would have gone quite so willingly as well. Um, who knows? I mean, if I'd lived then, maybe I'd have signed up along with everyone else for the jaunt of it, for the adventure of it, because I'd be home at Christmas, so it would be fine. <laughs>